Hello, and welcome to another video from Real Security. Computers are very useful tools. They help us in our day-to-day -day lives and at work, but they're only secure if they can easily and reliably distinguish between different users. Usually, this is solved by providing a password, which is a memorized string of characters that the user has to remember. The problem is users aren't very good at memorizing passwords. So they'll usually use one password for every device and every service. This is not ideal because if one is compromised, so are the others. Usually password authentication works just like this. You write the password. into your computer, which then will forward that password to a server. As far as this server is concerned, it doesn't know you. It only knows this password. So it's not going to be able to distinguish John who's using this password from Alex who's using this password. This is why two-factor two authentication is really necessary to protect someone's identity or the security of a network or service, for example. Now, two-factor authentication works like this. Instead of just requiring the one password, you require an additional authentication step. This is usually a separate device that, uh, for example, John will carry on his person. This device will produce some form of authentication to make sure that John has this device. This can be, uh, uh, for example, a private key that only this device has, anything. Just It needs to be secure. So the authentication process for two-factor authentication works like, like so. First, after the device is registered for the service, of course, Terrible, we're running out of ink. After it's registered, oh dear. You then input both the two-factor authentication device, which it's going to present itself, depend, depending on the implementation, of course, but it's usually automatic. It's going to talk to a server. And send both of these pieces of information to prove that this user is genuine and that the password hasn't been compromised. Now, usually this is done by the user entering a string that's displayed on this device or it can be done automatically if the device is connected to a computer. For example, if the device is a smartphone, then it's going to display about four to six characters uh, that the user just enters here and can prove beyond reasonable doubt that this user is genuine. Now, the implementation of two-factor authentication provides several challenges for business and uh, consumers alike. An additional device and uh, businesses will have to make sure that all of their services are authenticated with this setup. To help with this, uh, we at Real Security provide many such solutions from our partners. VersaSec, CertGate, Certify, and Bit4ID can all help you integrate two-factor or multi-factor authentication into your enterprise solution.